Hello, hello everyone. This is Mr. Fox. Thank you for joining my then for another episode of Let's Play Some Random. Now, uh, where we last uh, left off, we're about to uh, meet uh, the, I guess, other side of the mayor. mayor. And um, we we'll also, on a separate video in between, I... Um, uh did an achievement let's uh three three times a charm i think it was called to try to open the door before our friend dicey here is um um actually ready to open that door so if you're interested in the achievement part you can definitely check that one out as well Ooh, hello there's the mayor Oh, not, not this way, this way, come on. Trying to check out for shooty things. Hello. Delicious. What do, what do we have here? Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this... I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand, and then one day he was just there. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you noticed the changes here, even. Our personalities becoming personified now. Personalities are getting their own bodies now. That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat and I don't know how to stop him. I don't know how to fix this town even. And I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. You're the hero, case, buddy. What brings you to the mayor today? What's that growing out of your hat? What's that, little girl? You want to know how our first-past-the-post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Oh, no. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. Mm. Mayor spelled backwards. Now, that was clever. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Why are you letting him boss you around? Because he serves the Nanny Fortuna. We both do. Whatever she wants, he's ready to do, and therefore he deserves to be listened to. He's my opposite, but at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. I'm done talking. Did you take my friend Seymour's eyes? I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... Out with it, man! Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royam directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help. And this is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. Okay.
I am good, but our point am I going? Hello. I'm gonna go to the guys with the ward selling. Uh, that's the thing with the game. I, I'm not sure uh, when things get to the point of no return, like. So uh, let's uh, go back to that market area. Shouldn't take long. Uh, we need to get two more blobs for these two. Oh, hello. Hope I missed that one. And. We need to get uh, a, f a a second di another dice for the. I got so many words, kid. Got a sale on bucolic right now. If you're interested. See, there is a quest. I'm wondering if you'll trade me your rarest My word. My rarest word? Ha, that's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? A rare word. I'm listening. A word to be used when the planets align, a word that describes the process of learning itself, a word that's easy on the eyes. It's Zizki. It's when the three or more celestial body lines up in a straight line. I the amount of whys in that word, but three or more planets. Oh, that's a hard sell here in Two Town. I think that's a pass from me. What do you have to offer in trade? A joke. Let's hear it. Why didn't the number six fear the number seven? Why? Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine? Oh, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. Oh, what do you on. have to offer in trade? This dice? I'm afraid I don't go in for tangible items, kid. Too flammable. Nice <laughs> thing about words is you can carry them in your head and nobody can ever steal them. Hey, here's a free sample. Hmm? Halcyon. It means happy and careless. First one's free, kid. Okay. Let's go to Halcyon. Well, get your fresh rum straight out of the tube. That dinner for two. Ah. Oh, there's another blob. What's your name, little dude? Have you heard any cool blob rumors? Interesting, I'll definitely keep that in mind. What's your... Okay, what's your name? Three. Three. Wow, okay. Okay, little guy, in you go! Let's see, I knew. There was a reason I'm coming back here. Kid, oh, I got Sorry, all Kate. kids crave. Customers only. Crispy twigs. Yeah, crispy come kids back house. with money, kid, and I'll be happy to sell you two or more socks. Two or more socks? Oof. Dad, oh, I kid. You want Super crispy twigs? Kids love crispy winter. twigs. <laughs> I threw any new trades while I was Not away. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? Words, A maybe? word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be... Oh, I've heard that before. It's a no trade kid. Hmm. 
I'm apparently missing some things here. Oh no! Street socks! Get your socks here! Oh, because your socks are. Hey, kid! Oh, I'm selling crispy twigs here! Crispy twigs to trade! I'm sorry, I I'm on break now, and Smokey only gets a little time for himself, don't he? I get it, I get it. Oh, hello. I thought that we already have all the coins from this place. What's the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. Your house of cards will never fall down when you've built it with Manny's help. Yes, sure, right, bet. I can apparently f farm these. Seems they respawn. Oh, that was a lot. It seemed to even that there were two sides to every story. Especially here in Two Town, where even the residents seem to be of two minds. Don't mind me, we're just getting all the money. What? Good morning, world! It's a beautiful day! My favorite kind! Any second now. Up. Uh, why is this sh being shown again? Yeah, we can skip it, I think. It's the same. Cannot uh, go back further than this, which is fine. See for more potential money. We like that money. Doesn't look like there's too much going on. Well, I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. <laughs> I do, I do. I just want to get some more money. Thank you, Manny. We have not forgotten about you. You're very much useful. Thank you. Hello, little... Sorry, sir. See, this is why we do... These, uh... Semi-non-eventful swe uh, sweeps. Mm -hmm. Now let's get back to many. Oh, 
bits are off. Bits are off. Let's see. Ooh. What's this? Noble King's hand. Mm. I'll just get exclusive dice. Thank you. And maybe this guy. Let's leave it off. Hazard. Ooh, lots of bombs. Thank you, sir. What were the... Oh. Acid cannon. An old cannon from the No Dice War enters the game shooting acid arrows. It is removed from play after 30 seconds. Yeah. For a new card from old many decks. Esquire. Well, I don't have any more money, Manny. Thanks for the offer, though. This way? You know, you should go see the upside down town for yourself. Just... You should go see the upside down town to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very curious if uh, the bots respawn or not. Because I'm sure, very sure, that I did quite thoroughly this entire area last time. But somehow the bots are here. Or were here. Some things. A foot. Hello, bot. Ooh, more bots. No, they definitely re respawn. It's really very, very much unlikely that I could have uh, um, missed a, this huge amount of bots. I think it was 10 or so. That's extremely unlikely. I like to consider myself a well, quite thorough person and oh that that's just not acceptable that I've, that I've missed all of those yeah let's just try to talk to everyone here the word and the grumble grumble thing Nothing of use here, nothing of use here. What is this? Come on, guys, mm -hmm. Nothing of use. No one would talk to us anymore. So good. Been good here, you know. Shroud, get your fresh shroud straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. We save the guy here. But there is a guy there. There's a the last loop. Hello. 
you, sir? No, don't want to talk to us, too. Fine, don't talk to us then, jeez. Oh, that's the ladder that we uh, tried earlier on. And it was just uh, some coins. Now, I have some important steam. Ah. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> Why does he not want to talk to us? It's a bug. Don't tell me it's a bug. Because no one wanted to talk to us. Maybe let's try to go to the menu and come back. Hopefully it's gonna be fixed just by that. Hopefully. <laughs> Where are we? All bets are off when you've got a new card from old many decks. I'm sorry, I I'm on break now, and Smokey only gets a little time. Oh, I can't to answer your question. Yes, business is slow. Ooh, hey, that takes. Oh, so There's a bit scared there. So two packs. each of you. It's I'm selling Get the red nice. Unless it's been chilled twice. Ew. Hey, stay stupid. What's the boy? Give the boy a hat. Hey, boy, can we pay time to get a I don't want to get a pet. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? And scorpions, too. Those are the two best pets to have, so they're the only ones I carry. Where is? Hmm. I got a fifty percent off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. Shroud, get your fresh shroud. Oh, cool dance costume, the kid. Careful, don't get invested in it. Get your food here. I've only had dice described to me, kid, but that costume is dead on. Okay, have a nice and depressing day. This guy's the best. Let's try to get that last bl lube. How's it hanging? Ah, yeah, classic loop. Nice weather we're having. Huh, you said it, man. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up now. A blob. Get to the word seller. That is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you saying this? What a dice for sale? Who wants to buy a word? You again? What have you got for me this time? 
Well, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. A word is, that describes the process of learning itself. It's adlu... Blessings? How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Uh, Herman, the old junker in one town taught me. Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlu. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Oblectament. Oblectament? Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Thanks. It's been an oblu oblectament doing business with you. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. I got words for sale here. Choice words. The word oblectament. It means source of the lab. Who is the seller who wants to trade something valuable for that? Oh, we know who is the guy that would want such a thing. Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? I've got a word I'll a trade word? for you. Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oblectament. Oh, that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Hey. Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a gobble, Gregor, in exchange. They're very futuristic. It's a gobble, Gregor. <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a gobble, Gregor is. Hilarious. You're all right, kid. Good sense of humor. Here's the gobble, Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. Yeah, we sure do. Great, kid. Looks like a toy heart. One could gobble, Greg, anything with this baby. One would also trade it in Silla Street for something valuable. Hmm. Let's go up. Ah! To the, fresh Straight out of the, tube. the guy we just saved. That's a spiffy nice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. Sure thing, creepy, cur uh, creepy person. Oh. Yep, confirm they do respawn. Trade the Gobble Gregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darned old. That's right. Thank you. Here, have this uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before. Uh, forget it. It's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. A dead four-sided dice. Oh, an old long dead dice is straight in the purge of the no dice war. Lisbeth will want to see this. Okay, we're. Getting places. And uh, yeah, we're going the right direction here. The who wants to buy a word? I mm. got Cliniomania looking for a good. Mm. 
Where's that guy? Here he is. Why doesn't he not want to talk? Okay. Uh, I have a dubious fossilized skull that I think you might find interesting. Impossible! Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Oh, rather, it was a dice. Wasn't you who killed it, was it? Oh, if I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No, no, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. No Dice War. It was a catastrophe. The Queen Child decided that she should be the only one to wield the dice. And so, she waged war on them, and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If, when, she finds out there's still a dice, and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic. And she is not to be toyed with. What happened here? She will do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. I've been there. I suspected as much. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden, and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden, far below random, and far from the queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few will remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. I guess I do not. I don't know who you even are, lady. You don't know. And you don't know. But that's fine. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. Random rules. Good luck. Dice wielder. And you too, little dice. Oh, thank you for the gold, Lizbeth the Mysterious. We still don't trust you. Being all cryptic and mysterious. Let's see what uh, our quest... Two sides of the every story. And the tale of two towns. Um, yeah, but 
before we talk to two face two brain here we will just end uh, this episode right here i think it's a good place uh, to make a pause and that being said this is mr fox thanking you for again for joining another episode of let's play some lost in random don't forget to like comment and subscribe any feedback would be greatly appreciated from any of you guys and yeah mr fox signing off thanks bye